Go, 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 go,
Oh yeah. Yeah, keep going. We're away, old boy. Sorry, Second one. Excellent. That's huge. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's it's a better, slightly bigger, which is better for bait. I mean, and when I say slightly, I mean slightly. How are beautiful little creatures? Oh, wow. It's hard to believe that's the biggest species of demersal squid anywhere in the world. Not to be confused with pelagic squid. And you can see the flash boost in that lure, in the Shimano flash boost. Look at it. I just caught a fish. I got a fish. A fish. I don't know, but I got a fish. Yep. It's a big flatty. I got a flatty. On a squid jig. Oh, get the net fin. Oh, this is. He's got it right down his mouth. Quick fin. Yes! I got it! <laughs> yeah. No, a dusky. No, a yank. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. There's no hooks. There's no hooks. She's fine. I can't believe it. That's awesome. It swallowed the squid jig. Get that. Yeah. Wow. On film. <laughs> I was filming. He wasn't coming off. Look at that. Sephia Eco Boost squid jig. So you can actually fish them for flathead if you put trebles on them. You put trebles on the back. That's lunch. That's our lunch, buddy. No, because they got such a flat head. How is he going to get that out of his mouth even if it doesn't have a treble on it? How do I get hold of him? Watch out. That's flat and squash. They can't get that out of his mouth. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. That is not coming out. I can't believe I caught a flathead on a squid jig. Is that a blue spot? Look. No, 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 not on the back. Here, oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, it's a few white spots there. Eh? No, but those spots definitely get blue on the back as well. So there we go, Mornington catching yank flathead on lures. But yeah, not the kind of lures you would expect to catch them on. Crazy. <laughs> I walked away from the rod for the first time today and it screams off. It's a decent one. This is the eater, old boy. This is the eater. This is the I've got to get a net. It's a bloody decent squid, isn't it? That's 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 the uh the fisherman's basket. Into the net, old boy. Got him. That's the bloody oath it is. Whoa, what a mess he's making. Holy moly. I make a little bit more ink than the average uh, squid owl, son of calamari. That son of a pig. You big beautiful thing. See, the southern calamari has the flap from the full length of that mantle. The propulsion flaps. The full length of the mantle. Which is different to the pelagic squid. The pelagic squid have just a little tiny one, little arrow on top, little arrowhead. So these are demersal species. In other words, of or near the bottom, feed and breed. Calamari, not squid so much. There you go, that is definitely for the menu, old boy. We're gonna be eating like kings. Yo, 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 I did it. What did you do? I got a king. How big? Uh, like 75. Uh, so how big's 75? What's that, about three kilos? Uh, maybe four. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So not 35, but the one further back towards uh, Esso. The one that's right in front of the silos. Yeah, Esso. Yep. Yeah, there's fucking kings everywhere on my tent. I can't believe it. That size, it'd probably be good to use squid strips too. Well, that's what I'm using a squid head. That looks like a giant squid strip. Yeah. Yeah, Tony said on those small ones, the squid strips are amazing. He puts them behind those little hockey plastic hockeys. Holy shit, it's fucking lit up like down there right now. It's 
I wonder if, what would happen if I brought my squid over. Change the scenery. We're out on Western Port. It's only been an hour since we last seen us at Port Phillip catching that last squid. Adrian has found some kings. We're gonna go hit them. We got live squid. There's some big fish on the sander here. I just marked up massive fish just there. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. I slow off in. Slower. It's as slow as it goes. Is it? Is right? No, it's slow, slow down. Out of gear. We lost a bait first and put another one on and that hooked up straight away as well. Oh, yeah. And then... No, on the, on the south side like I am. Add a gear fin. Oh. oh. That was a touch. That was definitely an inquiry. Oh, having, a, having an inquiry, Finn. Get ready. No. No, no. No. Confirming. You're on. Oh. No, yeah, you're very slow to pick up the rod. Well, 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 that wouldn't have mattered though. Why would that matter? Ingy, keep it going forward. Wait, why is keep it going forward. Why is me being slow to the rod and me for this one? I don't know how we dropped that. How can you not hook up two five O's in a... Oh, what? Yeah, it was you. It hit the chain. It was me? It got the chain. Well, not you. No, but like, get out of here. It got the... It went around the chain. Look. Go Finn. Come on this side, buddy. Stay on it. <laughs> Stay on top of it, buddy. Finn. He's like, you frothing. <laughs> coming up the front, mate. Quick, quick, quick. It's coming around. What are you doing? Make your mind up. I can't see what you're doing. Here you go. Swing, swing, swing him out. Quick, he's under the other one. Oh, nice fish. 
You want me to get the net for you? Yeah. Steer him in. Here we go. We did it. Thanks, Adrian. So we, we, every time we went there, we were getting hit. But the other one took was bigger and it took us around the pop chain. Rippy, get out. Get back. Get back, darling. Get back. Not a big fish, but it's a bloody kingy, mate. And what's the ball? Let's get back up there and get another one. I'll get a quick, get a quick photo. Ripper. Ripper. No, that's a snook. Is it? Yes. Another catch and cook masterpiece. I was say, it's a massive food. Watch out. No, Ripley, get back. Oh my ah. God. Ripley, Ripley, get back. Another magnificent fish to eat. Come here, come here, sit down, sit down, sit down. Hey, no, no. Finn, we need to drive the boat. Who's driving the boat? Um, right Look at that. Ripley. That beautiful fish. Basically looks like a barracuda. See the boat, Fimby? Looks like, basically looks like a barracuda. But it's called a snork. It's a short fin sea pike. Not to be confused with a long fin pike, which is shit eating. These are actually really good eating. Am I camera looking right at it, you reckon, Finn? Oh dear, look at that. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, wow. Not to be confused with a long fin pike. This is the short fin sea pike, a beautiful eating fish. Whew, another beautiful species. Yeah, big snook. Whew, we are doing a cook up now. We've got the ultimate fishing basket now, fisherman's basket. Listen, now let's put him back in the bay so we lose another day. <laughs> So what a hard slog day, but worth it in the end. We've got an absolute fisherman's basket and a massive feast to come. It's getting really cold out here. It is May now, or tomorrow it is. And uh, these moonless, these cloudless nights get really cold. Last night or the night before it was like two degrees. So we're just gonna tow around for about another two minutes and then we're gonna head in and get the bloody cookie going and have a feed because we are starving. We both have a neat today. All right, here we are. This is the ultimate taste, taste test. Cut the season a little bit. You got married women at home? Yes. That love fresh fish. Oh yeah, they, they really do. The reason I'm not so great at filling fish, right? Yeah. What do you reckon the reason is? Because you release a lot? I've released nearly everything. So I was very, very rarely. So that didn't come out too bad. That's pretty good. It'd be funny though, look at it. Alright guys, here I am, cutting this snook. You recording? Yeah, of course I'm recording. Finn. I was, I was helping. It was like, Adrian halfway to. No, he was down further, I pointed. Now see what I did there? I literally pulled that fillet off complete. No bones in that fillet. Oh, look, Adrian's going in. You, you know what's funny guys? I know Brendan has like, rusty knives, so I actually bought a knife just in case. He had blood He ones. will not cut, it's tough. Yeah, are we doing skin on or skin off? Off. Off. Have you tried crispy skin kingfish fish? No. Let's try and peel it off. Let's see if we can do the peel off. Amazing. It looks really good. Amazing. So what are we going to do with the rest of it? Let's put it in those bags I brought and take it home for the fridge. So there's a selection there for the kingfish we can have. We'll probably eat the flatty. There's the flatty. Mm, flatty is the best fish in the world. Let's see if it lives up to the standard. You got any salt? Got everything, mate. Okay, guys, we just found a bag of tricks in Brendan's little camping. So we got some shallots, spring onions, some lemon squeezy. Wow, some ketchup, Nando's Perinase, a dob of butter. Um, some best food mayonnaise. This is probably my favourite mayonnaise in the world. That is great. We got a red onion. We got some mainland vintage. <laughs> and we got garlic. And here we go. We have the four delicacies. 
Can you guess which one's which? The whitest and cleanest is the flathead, the reddest is the kingfish, the greyest is the snook, and of course the white calamari, southern calamari. Look at this. Homegrown by my dad. Look at that. Tomatoes. Beautiful. All right, so let's see how these cook up and then we're gonna do the taste test. It enhances it flavor, its flavor as well. So give it a quick. Where's the knife? It's not going to be real fast out, it's not going to be full. No, it's yeah. Black. Yeah, that's softened to calamari. Yeah, you didn't do that. No, I didn't. I, I, what do you, so we got snook, king, king, calamari. I'll leave that knife. Flat head. No. And a flatty. There we we'll go. Do, we'll do that's, a double flatty. We've probably done, don't you reckon? Got a clean bowl here for the, all the stuff you got when you cooked. They meant to be golden, not hey, brown. Taste it, taste it. Let's go. That's all right. <laughs> Is it hot? All right. Oh. Hot. Not hot. <laughs> so we know that's the winner. <laughs> that's good. Don't be fooled. By the colour. Nah, it's still tasteful, it just doesn't look great. I love that there's some creative editing. We're going to set the oil out with the neck before we do the yeah, next one. Exactly. Let's <laughs> not caramelise, but. You just left it on there for like 20 minutes. I said it was going to be. No, I thought we were going to, as soon as you started cutting, I thought it was going to cut on straight away. I've been baked. <laughs> well, I think he's all really just picking it up and off the fish and drop it in. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I only took the oil, I'll probably do it. Yeah. Alright, there's the smoke. There's the brown. There's the brown flatty. Let's keep it together. Alright. Look at that. Now, I'm going to clean this out and do a nice batch. <laughs> Nice to contaminate it. We'll make it look really <laughs> sexy. There we go. Yeah. That, that doesn't look too bad. People are going to be really angry at us. You know that. They're going to be commenting like crazy. Yeah, that's Very it. abusive. I'm going straight for the snook. I'm not going to muck around. Here we go. I'm going straight for the snook. Me too. Oh, it's not bloody to be honest. Look at the um, black. Yeah, I think it's white. <laughs> You can see the bangs So is it a uh, stick mm. of flatty guys? Mmm. Mm. What is it? Dark. A flatty beer. It's good. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mmm, I like stick. No, that's flatty, I think. That even tastes like flatty. Well, you can see the, the veins. Yeah, it tastes like flatty. Yeah. Right. So one of them is snook. Probably that one. No, no, there was two flatty, so that's the snook. Break it apart, see if it's got these veins in it. Oh, that's not how yeah. wide it is. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. The fatty needs a bit of salt or something, I reckon. Whoa, how wide what, what is, is it? it? What are you guys doing? It's good. That's better than the fatty. Is that snook? That's snook. Wow. That, that is better than the fatty. 100%. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, any? Take some. Let's... Okay. Try some. Have a look at how wide the snook is. Have a look at it. Oh my god. Oh, kingfish. Oh wow. Yeah. That is sweet. That is, that's a winner. Yeah. Good. Wow, well, this is unique. The kingfish? Or the no, snook? the snook. Yeah. I'm Good same flavour. Like it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would eat that every day. Yeah. Wait till you try this. There's nothing offensive about it at all. Wait till you try this. This is, fish? Yeah, it is amazing. Alright. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Good. Most mm -hmm. important is it's got that. The kingfish is the best. Just. <laughs> Because it actually delivers back a bit of fish flavour that the yeah. snook didn't have. Yeah. The snook was actually very. Yeah, it's um, a white, flavourless fish. It was like, like deep. a deep sea fish. Mm, yeah. white, white and flavourless. Very harmless. The yeah. flatty was probably the worst of the three. Well, it's actually, like lamb. That one's flatty, I'm going to give it another crack. Yeah, that, see Matt, the veins in also, it? Also, but when you, when you guys ate that and there's salt, but I put heaps of salt in it. Yeah, this is the best. 
The flatty's still good. How much the other flatty? Yeah, the flatty's got the veins in it. 